Hello, my name is Susan Mertinger, and I'm a Steinway artist coming to a concert stage near you this season with a wonderful solo recital program entitled Four Centuries of Variations. This is a very exciting project because after all, variety is the spice of life. This concert program, which could also be called Four Centuries of Virtuosity, will feature exciting, thrilling, and beautifully lyrical works by Beethoven, Schumann, Liszt, Aaron Alter, and Judith Shayton. Indeed, variation technique in music is an essential element of compositional process, even when not specifically related to theme and variations, passacaglias, or chacones. While early forms of variations were of a more superficial type, adding florid virtuosity in a prescribed pattern, first in the right hand, then in the left hand, then varying the rhythm, then the modality, and concluding with a finale of increased technical display, later sets of variations, on the other hand, began to take on even more variety, more abstract and complex deviations from the melody, the underlying harmony, or rhythms. My lifelong fascination with the variation genre has led to my study, performances, and or recordings of diverse works such as Brahms' Haydn Variations and Ludoslavsky's Variations on the Theme of Paganini, César Franck's Symphonic Variations for Piano and Orchestra, and countless solo keyboard works by Mozart and Beethoven, Handel and Haydn, Schumann and Liszt, Chopin, Elbio Barilari, Aaron Alter, Nick Ginopoulos, Judith Shayton, and many more. The theme and variation genre and the several specific techniques of variation found in many other genres, such as sonatas and symphonies, affords the composer and the performer an unlimited exploration of these qualities of what is generally a very simple musical idea or melody. In fact, the simpler the melody, the better when it comes to variations. This enables the creativity of the composer and the musical and technical virtuosity of the performer to be put on display in each and every variation. Sometimes the theme that a composer utilizes is completely original, yet more often than not, the theme comes from another source, another composer. Similarly, a composer can utilize musical techniques or styles originated by earlier composers or their colleagues, many whom they admire or who have influenced them. After all, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. We can see this, for example, in Schumann's symphonic etudes, where we see the evidence of influence of Mendelssohn and Chopin and Bach. Improvising, on the other hand, on simple arias or dance music was often required of performers in the 17th and 18th centuries. And thus, we can see the influence of classical music through to the 20th and 21st centuries in genres such as jazz. We see the crossover from classical music to jazz, to pop music, to new age, to every type of genre imaginable. In that way, classical music is the foundation for all of the music as we know it today. Come join me as I share with you this concert season my interpretations of these beautiful, glorious works of creativity and virtuosity by Beethoven, Schumann, Liszt, Aaron Alter, and Judith Shayton in my program, Four Centuries of Variations. I look forward to seeing you after my concerts and greeting you then.